Victoria again. Let's jump into your reading. Today I want to do a reading on the person on your mind. What are their thoughts about you? What do they actually, what do they want to tell you? What do they wish they could tell you? What do they want to say? Yeah, let's do that. So we're going to do, oh, well, I guess, <laughs> I guess we'll do a general right now. Hummingbird. So you might know this reading is for you if you have spotted any, or if you've seen a lot of hummingbird symbolism lately, or maybe there was a hummingbird visitation. You might also have, I don't know why I'm seeing someone holding either a moth or a butterfly. You see the, the moth or butterfly up here? It even makes me think of dragonfly. Okay, so someone definitely outside. Someone here had had a visitation and it was through an animal, an insect. So you'll know this reading is for you if that resonates. <laughs> I mean, I guess it doesn't have to. I guess you'll know if it's for pile three. Okay, anyway, sorry, I'm jumping all around. I'm medicated right now. Um, I have an autoimmune disease and use it sometimes for my symptoms and the pain. So, enough of that. Well, you know what? No, actually, no, that's not it. <laughs> okay, let's just jump into this. We have pile one, pile two, Okay, sorry. <laughs> Pile one, which is the, I don't know, I'll link it. I forgot what the deck is called. The Wild Woman Oracle. And then this is a new one that I got, but I already forgot. <laughs> I'm so sorry, I'll list them below. But yeah, so Pile one, Pile two, Pile three. Ooh, oh my gosh. Well, this is a good sign. The lover's coming out. So definitely romantic reading. Let's see. Ooh, the world. Okay, so this is going to be a brand new love. So if this is not going to be a past person, this is brand new love here, okay? So let's start this. Oh my gosh. <laughs> Pile one, 303. Oh, okay, so 33 three might be significant. I kind of want to have these two as the energy right now for this reading. Pile one, collective of pile one, the person on their mind. What does the person on their mind want to say to them? Archangel Michael, I ask you to step into this reading and block out any malicious, malignant entity, spirit, person, wandering eye, any person from the past that the collective here of Pile One does not want to interfere into this reading. They are highly protected. Yes. So, collective of Pile One, what does a person on your mind want to say to you? What are they going to tell you? Okay, first of all, the first thing I'm hearing is, you, you are my universe and I just want to put you first. Okay, so <laughs> the Coldplay and BTS, uh, my universe or universe. <gasps> oh my gosh, something lovely will grow from this. Okay, this is a new love, you guys. Ooh, who are y'all meeting? It says universe, we're all just stardust. This is a, oh, this is a soulmate. This is a, ooh, pile one. <laughs> oh my gosh, if you guys are romantics at heart, oh my gosh, not here to sell a fantasy or something, but the, look at the energy, the ener I can't even describe to you the energy right now. <laughs> you are gonna be on, I'm hearing, I'm walking on air tonight. <laughs> I'm 
walking on air. Okay, so Katy Perry walking on air. This is a high level soulmate connection here. I feel like even if you guys, have you guys been in a past life together? Hold on, because I'm seeing like the different planets here and it's making me think of everything connected. And when you go into space, like time and space is very wibbly wobbly, timey wimey, right? <laughs> and it, time. Yeah, it's almost like, this is like a past life connection. Oh, wow. You might have a very floral scent. I'm drawn to the rose in her hand. And this could be someone that you initially... Hmm. It's like maybe someone that you initially wouldn't... It's like not your type. Because it's making me think also, the rose is making me think of the rose from Beauty and the Beast. So something about, hold on, hold on, give me a second, because I'm getting like multiple things here. This is giving me someone that could be very introverted, like the beast was living in, like in his castle, right? Could have been someone that had to battle a lot of insecurities here. But what do they want to tell you? Because if we're doing person on your mind, this is new. Okay, so if this is like a new relationship, you guys must have already met, right? So if you guys already met, like maybe you went on like a date already or you guys just started talking or maybe this could be even a coworker that just started working with you or this is like a new addition to a yeah it's like a new addition to something it's because I'm feeling like you guys are in each other's presence it doesn't have to be super frequent but I just feel like you guys have passed by each other before but again this is new energy or maybe this is like you guys taking it to a different level right or maybe you realizing, maybe this person has had feelings for you and you didn't even realize, or vice versa. Maybe you have had your eye on this person, like you being, um, it's almost like you have this in, intuitive draw to them. But it's a questioning. It's like, is, how do I feel about this? <laughs> it's giving that, it's giving like questioning, like, hmm, hmm, let me see. <laughs> But for those of you where this person is, I feel like for some of you, this person has been watching for quite a while and they feel like you have a very sharp tongue. I'm just drawn to the sword here as well. And it's making me think of air. It's making me, it's giving me like queen of swords energy almost. Um, you guys could also be like garden is making me think of green earth, pentacles. Uh, so you could be Taurus, you could be Virgo, Capricorn, or maybe that's this person. Um, you guys could be the air sign or they could be, there's air and earth here. Ooh, some of you guys, <laughs> they might want to tell you that they really like your nails or your hands. Someone's hands are really soft. If you guys have ever like brushed hands before, they think you, or you take very good care of your hands. Maybe you put lotion on a lot because I'm just seeing someone like with very soft hands. And I'm also seeing like rubbing like this. So I don't know if you rub your hands together or if you um, rub lotion, like if you put hand lotion on a lot. Maybe even like cuticle, do you guys? <laughs> what am I, I'm seeing someone at their desk, like at their work desk, like doing their nails. Like maybe this is like in between phone calls or during a break, but you're just like doing your nails or maybe even like fidgeting with your nails, but they're drawn to your nails. Do you change your nails often? Like someone here could um, go get them professionally done or you can do like there's like press ons here. So you guys do have very beautiful hands. They're drawn to your hands. Very nice nails. You might have like a lot of different 
color nail. Like, I don't know if you do like an accent nail or you do like very eccentric colors or maybe you switch up your nails quite frequently, but I'm just, I'm so drawn to the nails. They like your nails. They want to tell you how, how much they like your nails. Um, someone here could also have like dark brown or auburn hair. Or I'm just drawn to the color here. It's like maybe you even, someone here could have a pink or red wig as well. I'm seeing that as well. This could be something that grows from a friendship as well. Like the new energy could be the new like romantic feelings that are blossoming because I'm also drawn to the yellow roses here. The yellow roses, yellow usually symbolizes friendship, right? When we're talking about flowers, um, it usually symbolizes friendship. But when we have the red here, that's like it's blossoming into passion, right? There's a different feeling here. I'm also drawn to the, the crystal around their neck. Oh, I forgot what that, what it is with the two pigments for your skin. That could also be something like maybe you have, I am so sorry, please forgive me. I don't remember. I will put it up here. I don't remember what it's called, but like the two pigments for your skin, like they wish they, they, it's, it's like, they really want to compliment your skin. Your guys' skin is really nice. There's something about your skin or it's like very soft or you have like a glow to you. Even see how the rose here is glowing. So you do have, maybe there's like drawn to you. You Maybe they can even see, maybe they're spiritual as well. Because I'm seeing like someone noticing your aura, taking a, yeah, this person actually might be spiritual. They don't have to be. They could literally just be drawn to you because you guys are, there is a soul tie here. I am feeling that. Let's get a little bit more. I'm going to do tarot now. Prince of Wands. Okay, so the Knight of Wands. This is someone that is very passionate or they believe you are very passionate because that is what they want to tell you. Or they want to express their the passion they feel for you. It's almost... But they, they know... They haven't done it yet. It's because... Okay. The Knight... The Prince is not exactly or wait is the prince the page no 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 that's the knight um they're not the king yet right they're still in a they haven't reached that that it's like they haven't reached their higher self but i mean i don't get any i really don't get any negative or toxic like this person just because they it only takes them that which makes it stronger a certain goal or achievement or whatever it may be or you know um a milestone in their life or something or even just um the way they're moving their the job that they have it literally doesn't have to be something so crazy serious right but i do feel like they are someone that has confronted parts of their shadow self because i was feeling that they did have insecurities before and maybe maybe this is both of you maybe you both have worked on insecurities within yourself because i do feel within both of you there is a it's a harmony with this union coming together do you see them on top like they are in sync they're together here and this is divinely guided look at that look from the bottom to the angel on top it almost for one split second it made me think of cupid so cupid's arrow Nine of Pentacles. Okay, they want to tell you how much they admire how you have... Maybe this is someone that's seen you grow in something or they just admire... It's like they want... They only, I feel like someone here wants to ask you what you've gone through or not... That sounds... Okay, that doesn't sound right. <laughs> they want to know more about you. They want to... They want to get like really deep and personal. I'm not even like, like this is someone that has seen, they see the type of person that you are and it's almost like they are, 
they're kind of stunned. It's almost like when they look in your eyes, they can see that there are, it's like you have a certain wisdom or you have certain stories. Maybe you tell a lot of different stories about your past and there's something about that or about you and the way you you talk about your life or the way you talk about yourself that they know that there is a lot more to you that they really want to uncover right there's a lot more that they want to delve in and you carry yourself with a lot of grace and a lot of confidence like this is a very the the nine of pentacles this is someone that is also self-sufficient because when, when we think of pentacles it's also like material right so this is someone you could be someone very self-sufficient they might even have told you like you like you've done really well for yourself or they're very impressed with like um or maybe they've complimented you in some way or something that you maybe you even showed something off like if you bought a particular purse or you bought a certain brand of something or there was something like a collectible item that you showed off or that you were like excitedly showing around or something like I'm just getting something where they they look at you like very impressed <laughs> they're like wow this person like they they do what they want they buy what they want like they are this is like they admire you a lot <laughs> hey spirit what more can you tell us for the collective pile one what does the person on their mind want to tell them and maybe for this person too like if this is someone that, okay for someone here if this is someone that you've known for a long time because i'm getting back to them having seen you grown in some aspects this new energy this new feeling again this could be something where it's like they have started to develop feelings for you and it is coming so quickly it's like a rush right like it's very fast it's very um they're feeling very passionate they could be having you you could be on their mind quite frequently um especially when they are alone but what else, Holy Spirit, can you tell us about Collective Power One? What is the person on their mind wish they can tell them? What do they want to tell the Collective Power One? Oh my God! They literally want to build a life with you. Shut up. Look at that. Stop. Okay, they want to make an offer. They want to make a proposal. They want to. Someone might literally be getting ass out on a date here, and this is coming very fast because. If you have watched um, any of the previous readings where there was like this new date energy, new date energy, and it do this doesn't have to be tied to that at all, but maybe there's like one person that has seen one of the past videos of mine and this is coming up again. Like, it's almost like, yo, this is coming fast, you guys. Oh my God, <laughs> look at that. And they want to, not only do they want to build a life with you, they want to build a successful life with you. Again, with the, the roses, the flowers here on top, something about you is very graceful, very delicate, or they they view you as that. Like, maybe you don't think yourself as delicate, right? You could be like, I am not delicate. <laughs> oh, but, oh, man, they you really touch, almost, it's almost like you touch a part of them that they haven't really explored before or maybe it's like their inner child can be safe around you like both of your guys' inner child feels quite safe here with the six of cups but it's almost like a recognition of souls it's like this familiarity it's this coming together again it's like this harmony of coming together both at the right time like two points meeting else i feel like i feel like one more what what do they want to tell you what do they want to tell you sun paint the sun back into your sky oh my gosh this person wants to bring a lot of new um experiences to your life as well they feel like you have opened up like maybe you oh my gosh i'm getting someone here where i don't know if you made this person laugh like really hard and it has like for them like maybe it has not that's been a while since they've done that, right? Or not many people can really make them have like a deep belly laugh. You know what I mean? Or they just think you're very funny here. 
but you provide like a lot of joy and I think that you are able to like they really appreciate they wish they could tell you that or or what they have told you before maybe someone has expressed this I don't know I'm just giving like someone has like a deep admiration for you the way you're able to turn even like the darkest of situations you're still able to bring light into it you are a light here um, and they are very attracted to you. They are very attracted to the light that you have, okay? And I, I do believe vice versa. We have 11. So you could be seeing 11, 11 a lot, but this could be like a mirrored energy here. Like you guys are both very attracted to each other. Um, you might also have long hair. I'm seeing the long hair in, in these cards. So you don't have to, but that could resonate for someone. I don't know. Or if you have a wig, like maybe there is, a, I'm seeing like even like a very long wig or like extensions or something here. So you might have like really beautiful long extensions or like have a very long, um, yeah, long hair. <laughs> How many times am I going to say long hair? Okay. Oh, someone here could have like a Maine Coon. I'm looking at, I'm thinking of like a long haired cat. It's like a Maine Coon cat or, or maybe like you have a very fluffy cat. Oh my gosh. Yeah. Like my kitty. She's so cute. Um, but yeah, that is what I have for you guys. No, that's a collective. Problem one, that is what I have for you guys. Thank you so much. Um, I hope this was entertaining. This is for entertainment purposes. If this resonated, I do hope this resonated for you guys, though, truly. Um, oh, snipe. Uh, what was I saying? I'm so sorry. <laughs> I hope you guys have a beautiful rest of your evening, your day, wherever you're at. Stay healthy, hydrated, and blessed. And I hope you're treated as you treat others. Bye. Oh, my word. Pile two. Pile one was interesting. I'm so curious to see what's going on with pile two. Whew. Let me just say again, I am medicated right now. I take it for medical reasons. I have an autoimmune disease and it helps my symptoms. So <laughs> I apologize if, if you don't want to watch. That's completely fine. I feel like someone here maybe might not want to. Again, 100%. Feel free. Oh, 222. Two, two. Oh, 2222. Two, two, two. Okay, pile two. Yeah. So two might be a significant number for you. Angel number 222. Two, two. Okay, so Holy Spirit, angels, ancestors of the collective of pile two, please connect me to the person on their mind. What does the person on their mind want to tell them? What does the person on their mind wish they could say to them? What does the person on their mind need to tell them? Archangel Michael, I invite you into this reading. Please take out anything malicious, malignant, entity, spirit, any watchful eye, and any past energy or any energy that the collective pal 2 does not permit into this reading please cast it out thank you okay holy spirit collective pal 2 what does a person on their mind want to tell them what do they wish they could say to them Ooh, artemis she of the wild mercy give me mercy oh my gosh you got me begging you for mercy. Why won't you release me? You got me begging for mercy. Okay, wait, someone is. Stop, okay. Stop. <laughs> Forgive me, okay. I, I don't know why I heard simp. Stop it, okay. You are... Well, there was a reason you were drawn to the Wild Woman Oracle, okay? As well as, if you're a new viewer, the Wild Woman Divination. <laughs> but Artemis, she of the wild. Artemis is strong. Artemis is fierce. Artemis is connected to nature here. You guys might have seen a hawk recently or an owl. That is so crazy. I just, was it yesterday? No, it was the day before yesterday. I was driving home from work and there is a cemetery that I pass every every time that I drive by because it's you know on my way home well there's a cemetery there was a hawk that was on the ground like on the cement in front of the cemetery and it spread his wings and he was hopping around first of all they were beautiful um second of all I it almost looked like they were injured in a sense so I was like oh shit 
I didn't know what to do, but I made, I turned, I turned around and I drove back and I was like, oh man, what, am, what do I do? Like, am I supposed to call wildlife? Like, <laughs> girl, I didn't know what I was doing, <laughs> but I went back and the hawk literally, listen, our eyes connected. Okay. Our eyes connected, but the hawk flew off. It actually wasn't, it wasn't injured at all. I don't know what it was doing, but it was there for a good, it was there for a good minute. Um, I mean, long enough for me to have to like go around, turn around the block and come back literally for him just to take off but i don't know why i shared that story uh, yeah maybe some of you guys saw a hawk recently that was definitely a visitation okay but so this is definitely your reading if if that resonates <laughs> um but what do they want to tell you first of all they think you are very strong they wish they could tell you or they maybe someone here has expressed to you that you are okay wait <laughs> they okay <laughs> Someone here's a little aggressive. I'm not even gonna lie. This person wishes they could tell you, like, calm down. Because I'm seeing someone, like, say calm down, but they know not to say calm down to you because <laughs> they just know you would not have it. But I don't know why I'm getting this person likes to see you in this fiery, like, temper. And I'm not saying Artemis is, like, an angry deity here, but that, that I'm pulling this energy from you where it's like you are very fiery you could be a fire sign so you could be Aries Leo Sagittarius here um what else I mean someone here could do archery listen some people have do um archery for like sports stuff I or maybe you do hunt maybe you're a hunter or you've you've done something like that or no Cause I don't know why I'm seeing seeing the deer. Is that like a brand? That's like a brand, right? Deer. Y'all, I don't know. <laughs> um. I mean, it, there is something connected here with the elk. You're very connected with nature. Maybe you know a hunter your your family used to hunt or something like that i don't know because i don't even know why i i'm hearing deer jerky now like <laughs> i've never had deer jerky but my coworker was talking about it the other day and said it was quite gamey but anyway sorry or maybe they feel like you would be really good at sports or maybe you have a they want to express to you Ooh, you're kind of okay you're kind of a challenge to this person it's almost like they themselves you might also frustrate this person this could be someone the person on your mind there could be a back and forth like you guys might get in arguments quite often or you guys have argued before But it's almost like I'm seeing this person like kind of smile or like try to hide a smile while you're getting heated. That's what, listen, it's not, I'm not feeling it's too, like it's very toxic, but. <laughs> okay, yeah, no, they're not instigating for you to get angry. It's just when you do get angry, it's almost like, yeah, okay, okay. They're, they are, they're attracted to you when you're angry. I don't know. They wish they could tell you that. Or maybe someone here, what they wish to tell you. If this is someone you're already in a relationship, like maybe they want to have like angry sex or something. I don't know. Or sorry, S-E-X. I forget you too. But I don't know. Something with this artwork. You might also be someone that Oh, <laughs> this person wishes they could compliment your chest, okay? If this is not someone that you're dating, they are very drawn to your chest. Because I'm getting someone here. I don't know if they, if you've worn a shirt, like, or maybe your office is cold. Listen, don't shoot the messenger, okay? But this person has 
seen the nips, okay? They've seen the nips or something like that, and they really like your chest, okay? Look, I, okay. Let's get one more. Or no, I was only going to do one each and then tarot. That's right. Pile one just got an extra one. I don't know. I'll get more after as well. King of Swords. Like I said, you guys... Oh, wait, no, that was... Okay, so the person on your mind, they might be an air sign. So Aquarius, Libra, Gemini, or they could have that in their their birth chart here. But I'm getting, okay. They wish that they could tell you that they really enjoy. <laughs> someone here likes arguing with you. I don't know what it is, but someone here likes arguing with you. Um, or just the way that you're a maybe your quick responses maybe you have a very quick you're very quick-witted um okay maybe this person wants you if you're in a relationship already or maybe if, if you're not in a relationship i don't know this person almost wants you to take control of something or maybe they want to tell, like, they wish they could tell you how they feel or they want you to make the first move with something. I don't know. Wow. Two of swords. Yeah, it's giving me a should I? I don't know. This is a very, like, uncertain energy. Maybe this person also wishes they could tell you that they have... Someone here could also be leaving a job. So if this is like a co-worker or something. Or if this is someone that you... Or maybe they got a, another job offer. They might have gotten a different job offer somewhere. If this is a relationship, this could also be like they got a different job offer somewhere. Maybe it's long dis Like it's a longer distance. Maybe you guys... This would have to be a discussion of like long distance or something like that. I don't know. Or if you guys are long distance, this person wishes they could tell you that they want to move closer to you or be closer to you. But you are very independent. I mean, Artemis here, you're very strong. You're very, um, you're very self-sufficient. That was coming up a little bit in power one as well. But this is more of a, you're very grounded. You're very, um. Like, they know, it's almost like they might have a little bit of fear that if they do take a chance on something, if they were to move closer to you or, or take some type of step towards you, it would throw things off balance here. So it's almost like they wish they could tell you something, but maybe there's a safer, a safer road for them to take. Or maybe they're just like, oh, I'm not going to say anything yet. I'm not going to, you know, do anything about that. Because they're a little bit, like, afraid of the outcome or you rejecting them or you being... It's almost like they perceive you as someone being very happy single. So if this is, like, someone that you're in close proximity with and they are very attracted to you, they... Or if they want to make some type of initiation towards you or, or invitation to somewhere... The thing holding them back is that they feel like you are very, very happy and content in your, in this independent energy, or you're just, they, may, they might also be intimidated by you. <laughs> the Emperor, listen, you, you have, oh, sh night. you have a very strong presence to this person. Um, hello? Oh, okay. <laughs> You have a very strong presence to this person. Oh, two of hearts at the bottom. This person really loves you. Oh, and I hear the crows outside. Confirmation. This person really likes you, but you guys, again, you guys might be very opposite from each other. It's like night and day. Um, like, I don't feel you guys are completely different. Like, you guys might have a lot of similarities here, but there is a... 
it's almost like outside perspective would look at you guys and be like, huh. They'd be like, that's an odd couple. But it almost works. You know what I mean? <laughs> um, the emperor here. But you're very masculine. This is like a very, ma you're in your masculine energy. Or maybe they themselves wish they could tell you that they want to achieve something greater. They want to take things to a different level. They want to elevate something. They want to support you. They want to lead something. They want to lead or steer something somewhere. Maybe this is someone like they wish they could tell you that they want to move to a different um, state, country, whatever it may be. They want to move a different vicinity. They want to move locations. They want to expand outwards. They feel a calling to somewhere else, but they don't want to, like if this is a partner, they don't want to leave. They don't want to separate. They don't want, they don't, I'm, it's just like I'm hearing, it's like they don't want long distance, but they feel called to somewhere else. So I I don't know what that means. But it's okay, but it is something that might be it, it might be a challenge. I'm not even gonna lie. Like this is probably why this person's not bringing it up. The person on your mind, what they wish they could tell you. You see the mountains here in the back? It is something that will take effort. It's something that might feel like there's exertion here or being spread too thin on something. I don't know. Maybe they don't want to... I don't know. This person is worried. Yeah, they're. this person might also just be overthinking something. Like, they might be overthinking something even something simple it doesn't even have to be something super extravagant right like maybe they want to this could literally be someone they want to have their own like a separate bedroom or they want to start sleeping in a different bed like maybe you guys just have here i'm not here to knock or shame anyone okay like there are couples out there who have their own bedrooms i don't know maybe that resonates with someone or someone someone's parents have like separate bedrooms here or they want like a space for themselves but it did, literally doesn't have to be that. This I'm just saying like this could be a, something as simple as that. But this person is definitely overthinking something. And they really wish they could tell you. Eight of Cups. Yeah, leaving. It's like leaving something. But wanting to start something new. So yeah, maybe they want to leave a certain position but still start something new with you. Or if this is like you guys one of you guys has to leave like maybe this is a conflict of interest here like you guys if there is a or like a imbalanced power dynamic here one of you guys has to leave a certain position or a certain job if you want to stay together right if like if you guys were working together it's almost like one of you guys would have to step away but this person still wants to build with you they still want to grow something from this but again, they, they're kind of scared. They're scared. I think because if you feel, maybe you also feel scared. Maybe you're the one that, if they feel like you get scared, you might. So, okay. Someone here might be a little bit of a runner. Or maybe that that's how they perceive you, right? That doesn't necessarily mean it's true. Like, this is like someone's fear. Like, maybe they fear that you will completely leave. So that's what they wish they could tell you this, but it's like they're holding themselves back because they have a whole bunch of fears. Maybe that's the overthinking as well. It's like they're totally over-dramatizing something that most likely won't even happen. You know what I mean? inner high priestess yo you guys are i'm telling you this person and it's almost like maybe you are extremely spiritual you're psychic they know that you're psychic maybe this is also like they feel like you already know it's like someone's sweat and they're like oh sh do i tell them do they already know they're on to me like i don't know someone here could also be hiding something because i'm just hearing like they're on to me but you guys would already know it's not something that you don't know this is not something that is new. Yeah, you guys are very, 
These are like very psychic here. Um, they really are, they know that you are very smart. You're very intelligent. You also are very logical. Like this is giving me like very pragmatic. This is giving me uh, also analytical. So you could be very analytical here. Because I'm getting someone, if they were to come to you, it's like you having a straight face. You're not overly, like you don't over emote or something like this. It's like, maybe that's why they can't read you, right? But you can read them like that. But they can't read you or they don't really know what you're going to say. But maybe they feel like, again, that you're onto them. Or they, you know something about them that they haven't told you yet. Like you already know. I mean, this could literally also be that they want to propose. It doesn't have to be all doom and gloom, y'all, okay? It doesn't have to be all doom and gloom. But this could be someone that also wants to propose, but they're like, they're already going to know. Like, they're going to know. Or someone that's trying to plan a surprise for you. Like, they wish they could tell you. This is someone that could be bad at, you know, keeping secrets. But they are wanna, or they want to plan a surprise for you. But they feel like they'll spill the beans prematurely, right? So... That is what I'm getting for you guys for pile two. I'm just going to draw actually one more and that's it. One more card Holy Spirit, for pile two, the collective of pile two. The person on their mind, what do they want to tell them? What do they wish they could say? Morana, goddess of death. Yeah, they are completely terrified that you are going to just leave. Just up and leave. Like you're going to cut them out. Like, again, you are very straight faced. You are no nonsense you mean business okay you are someone that what you say you do and for some of you you might not even say it you're about action you are you're like i am about it yeah i'm not gonna say it i'm gonna be it that is you so the, again you might be very intimidating to this person they there might be things that they feel a little bit like scared to come to you and maybe they have to resolve certain things within themselves because I am getting from you guys that you guys are coming from a very grounded place. You're coming from a, like, you're, you're wanting to assess the situation. You're wanting to go over the situation before drawing any conclusions. Like, you literally could be um, in, in, in science, in, or you're really good at chemistry. You're really good at, like, you're someone that's good with numbers. You're good with, yeah, you just... <laughs> You, you're very cerebral. You have a thirst for knowledge as well here for this pile. Um, but you are just very in tune. You're very psychically in tune. Okay. And I don't think like this person probably has seen you cut people out of your life when necessary. When you know that you have to cut things. When you have to end things. You're not someone that is scared of endings. You guys all might also work with a a god or a, a deity or, or something of death, like a something here with the underworld. But yeah, that is what I have for you, pile two. I hope that was um I hope that resonated. I hope that helped in some way or was entertaining at the very least. These are for entertainment purposes. And I hope you guys have a beautiful rest of your evening, your day, wherever you're at. Stay healthy, hydrated, and blessed. And I hope you're treated as you treat others. Bye. All right. Pile three. Actually, you know what? For pile two, I someone here could be from pile two. And for pile two, I did say a new energy in the very beginning, but pile two felt more like a energy they were connected with. But anyway, sorry, I don't know why I just <laughs> someone from pile two may have lingered a little bit from or from there to here. Maybe you're just seeing if this is also for you. Maybe you're seeing if this pile is for you as well. Anyway, let's see. So Holy Spirit, Angels, Ancestors, the pile clip. <laughs> the collective of pile three angels and sisters holy spirit connecting to the collective of pile three those working for their highest good and their highest light what does the person on their mind want to tell them what does the person on their mind wish they could say to them archangel michael i invite you into this reading please cast out anything that is malicious malignant any energy spirits that is monitoring 
any spirit or energy that the collector of power three does not permit to be in this reading please cast it out thank you okay so all right perfecto someone here could know multiple languages or you know two languages um we have country cottage clear courts country cottage seven it is time for the seeker to look within what haunts you can only be faced by you clear courts the embrace of the shadows is who gently lifting light is needed to now nourish you this person wishes they could tell you to slow things down a little bit um but again you guys might not know each other that well or they know that maybe you can get a little defensive about your work or about your schedule but there's something here where it's like they almost want you to they okay this person wishes they could tell you they wish they could take care of you in some aspect or like slow things down a little bit for you or help things or help you out with something or maybe this person knows that you've been through quite a bit here or you have you could have even gone through some type of health situation here because i'm getting like someone maybe you had to have been on bed rest before or but it's like someone that's fighting fighting being in bed like you're fighting your y'all don't know how to relax <laughs> Someone here might not really know how to like chill and just slow down and relax. Or this person perceives you that way. Like this person feels like you need to just like slow things down. Um, it's almost like they wish they could tell you just take a day off. Like you need a day off or um, like are you feeling okay? Like this person really wants to make sure that you're okay. Like they're actually concerned for you. This person on your mind is concerned for you. Says the embrace of the shadows is gently lifting. Light is needed to now nourish you. Yeah, you guys actually might have gotten sick recently or you might have fallen ill with something. Uh, maybe someone here had a fever or you had um, like a cough, a really deep cough here. I don't know. But they really, they really hated seeing you like that. Maybe you were sick at... This can even be like if you guys go to a third, what is it, those third spaces? I don't know, this could, oh, what is this? So I'm feeling like you guys might know this person in a very familiar setting. Maybe this is like a friend of a sibling or a friend of a like one of your family members or like a friend of a friend or yeah like a friend's sibling or something like that I don't know but yeah they're concerned they're they're a little bit worried for you they did not like seeing you maybe you got really sick maybe someone here was even in the hospital oh my gosh but they wish they could tell you like how much you scared, like it scared them. Nine of Wands, oh my gosh, you, literally. Like this was something, someone here had like a serious illness or something. Or maybe someone here had a Empress at the bottom. You are healing. They are very happy that you are healing or that you are in a higher, you're in a lighter mood right now. You're in a better space now. Or they want, or they are, yeah, I feel like you are getting to that space. But this really stressed this person out, like, oh my gosh. Four of hearts. Four of cups. Some, okay, this person also could have been in denial about something. Or they want to ask you if you've been in, if you're in denial about something. This is this is very different energy than the last couple piles. Hold on. This is interesting though. I'm very curious. Who is this person though? Whoa, sh hold on. Every time I'm going to flipping card flying out Ooh. okay 
Ace of Pentacles. Okay, so this could be an Earth sign. It doesn't have to be, but this could be a Virgo, Capricorn, Taurus here. <sighs> New. Or maybe this is someone you haven't seen in a while. Or, hold on, y'all. This is kind of, I'm, this is a little bit difficult. Hold on, give me a second. Three of Cups. Oh, okay. Okay. So maybe this is someone that was keeping up with you. Like maybe you guys were keeping up with each other on social media. Like maybe you guys are friends on, you know, um, Instagram, Facebook, Snapchat, uh, TikTok, something here. Like I do feel like you guys were in connection. There is a familiarity, like I said, or they have been, they've seen a progress or a progression of something um that had them very worried right and but you might be meeting up with this person again or there might be a, a celebration or a get together maybe you guys come together at a friend's wedding or a oops for somebody it could be of like a funeral i'm so sorry but what else but i feel like they are what 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 else does the code of power three want to tell them yeah they want to tell you like how worried they were like they this was a this has been a burden on this person maybe they are developing some type of new or they want to invest some type of new energy towards you or there's something want they want to say to you that's brand new but with a burden they have something new to tell you something that you haven't they haven't heard you haven't heard from them before but it's burdening them hmm Send ones. Hold on, your guys' pile is very interesting. Give me a second. What do they want to tell you? What do they want to tell the collecting pile three? The person on collective three pile. Blah, <laughs> the person on the collective pile three's mind. What do they want to tell? King of Swords again. Yeah, someone here is definitely from <laughs> pile two, but. They want to, someone here wants to help you out with something. They want to kind of like help or lead a situation or lead you out of a certain, this person actually might literally want to spend money on you. They might want to take you somewhere or help you go on a vacation or invest some type of like money towards you so you can like have a little getaway or so that you can, maybe they are also going to help you with some type of health, health thing i don't know like a cost or something i don't know what what is this <laughs> this person does feel like an overwhelming like sense of protection though they do feel uh, they feel burdened by this new feeling like this is something that has been on their mind for quite a while this has been yeah this is like heavy on their chest like they feel like they need to tell you five of pentacles yeah they're feeling like there hasn't been a chance to tell you, or it's almost like they don't. <sighs> Give me a second. It's like they want to lead you out of the shadows here. This person might have a little bit of a, it's not going to resonate for everyone. Maybe there's just one person here, but it's with the chariot at the bottom. <laughs> Um, might have a little bit of a savior complex or they just are extremely empathetic to a point where they can overgive or over uh, over insert themselves in a situation for the people that they love like they're just very passionate but they might sometimes overstep here and there but I do believe it it's they have good intentions but again you know it, it is about what do they say? Good intent. The way to hell is paved with good intentions or some shit like that. So, but I don't feel with this person that anyone takes it very hard. Like, I do feel like this is an energy where it's like, they know this person, like they know how this person is. They know that they have a kind heart. So they might not always see when they're kind of like over. This could be someone that asks like way too many personal questions, but they're just like really like trying to help you like get to the bottom of a situation. This could be someone that like, might give unsolicited advice at times 
I don't know if you're cool with that or not, but this is definitely someone that might insert their opinion quite often, even if you don't ask for it. Yeah, it's definitely for, there's got to be someone here where this is, the person on your mind is like a friend's, a friend's sibling or a friend's cousin or a friend's friend or like a brother's friend or a sister's friend here, but it's just like, it's just giving me familiar. Like you guys are very comfortable with each other. This is not a wait, do do should I take this one? Yes or no? Okay. Uh that's a no because that was in reverse. So what else does the collective pal three, the person on their mind, want to tell them? What do they wish they could tell them? <gasps> the king of cups. Y'all. This person might start have started to develop feelings for you. Like, maybe they were like, why am I feeling so, why did this affect me so deeply? Or maybe they have had feelings for you, or maybe this was just like a crush, or they, you know, they liked you or something, but something very serious happened, and they, it's almost like the reality of you no longer being part of their life. Ooh, 5555. Five, five, five. You no longer being part of their life kind of shook something or maybe you like them before you expressed that you had some type of feeling but um they have now started to develop feelings i don't know because i'm getting like there is a mutual attraction here but i don't feel like it's like linear i feel like there's almost like maybe you had feelings for this person at one point and then they had feelings or you didn't have feelings i don't know it's very but this maybe this is why they haven't said anything because it's kind of like burdening them or they feel like you would how would you feel hold on let me see how would you feel if this person started developing feelings for you how would the collective of pal three feel the hermit okay so for some of you you're not down for it okay some of you want to be in solitude you like being single you want to stay by yourself and look that is that is completely fine just because someone likes you does not mean that you have to like them and vice versa just because you are attracted or you like someone does not mean that they have to like or be attracted to you you know what i mean um but for others of you i feel like this is something that you would it would be it would take you a second hi mama Or you would have to really, you'd probably really think about it, especially if this is like something where you have expressed feelings to this person before and it's been a while and now they're expressing it to you. You'd probably be like, you'd probably be a little sus. You'd probably be like, why are you telling me this now? Right? What else though? What else? How would they feel? Whoa. Okay. Like these are coming out. Judgment and the emperor. Oh my God. Definitely someone from pile two. You felt you had these cards as well. Um, yeah. I think some of you would take the time to really see how their character is. And for others, I do feel like you would be like, mm, I really like the life I'm leading right now. So for, it's a split. It's split. Some of you guys would be willing to explore this, but you would really have to think about this and um, really see this person especially if they're you know reappearing in your life after a certain amount of time and maybe you guys were just like long distance acquaintances uh -uh -uh. Koya no get down but for others of you it's like I do feel there is this you guys are attracted to each other but again it's not there's something here where it's not linear or it's not it's not even things are not completely even hey hey no no oh my gosh i'm gonna have to go because she's starting to bite the feathers on my <laughs> she's biting, biting the feathers on my ancestor's altar hey koya mama okay i gotta go i hope you guys enjoyed this reading i hope it was entertaining it is for entertainment purposes um oh my gosh i gotta go <laughs> and i hope you guys have a beautiful rest of your day your evening wherever you're at Stay healthy, hydrated, and blessed, and I hope you're treated as you treat others. Bye!